This has gone on for way too long, and I'm f***ing sick of it. In case you aren't aware, a YouTuber named Austin CR, this random guy, has continued to belittle me, make fun of me, pin me down, and abuse me for the fact that I have not yet reached 9k trophies in Clash Royale. Bro, let me just make fun of your profile real quick. Let's see. Sasquatch. Highest trophies. <laughs> Now, I've always known I could do this easily, and therefore, I just never tried, never attempted it, right? But people keep making fun of me for it, and I'm f***ing tired of it. And so, today marks the beginning of a new journey, a new challenge. We're gonna go from 7,851 trophies to 9k. It's about time we put an end to this. It's about time I prove the haters wrong, and I especially prove this little bitch Austin CR wrong. So I thought, let's just start off with a nice simple push here. Let's just get to 8,000 to Clash Fest. Yes, that's right, Clash Fest. Not to be mistaken with uh, Austin CR's favorite pastime activity, Fat Plump Juicy c Fest. And you know what? I'm so confident in this that I'm pretty sure we could just rock a troll deck and win the first game. I don't know if I'm going to use this the whole time because it's not fully maxed out. And it would kind of be useful to have a deck that's maxed out. But yeah, we'll see. I guess uh, this might actually end up being the greatest deck of all time. Knowing me, knowing my creations, knowing how clever this brain of mine is. Now we're going to do this. I know it's aggressive, but yeah, no, that was definitely aggressive. Fuck! <laughs> that was so aggressive. No! No, 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 no. This is not how we start off this episode, all right? Kill the fucking Goblinstein! Kill him. Kill him now. All right, it's fine, it's fine. We lose our tower, but it was all intentional. It's all part of the master plan. Austin has nothing on me. Yeah, I am not stressed. Anyway, I just got back from university, and I was gonna come back here. And by the way, in case some of you watched the other videos, <laughs> I'm assuming people who are here actually watched my videos, but I'll, I'll provide a little bit of context because I'm such an awesome guy. Please kill that. Nice. We have a goblin fest. But yeah, I'm assuming you guys watch my video, but if you do, then um, one in one of my previous few videos, I talked about this girl that was really pissing me off at university, and then today, in my class, she was there, right? And, um, god, <laughs> she was extra annoying today. But anyway, by the way, that ice spirit is gonna kill all these bats. I keep saying to people that Evo ice spirit is so underrated, no one believes me. Look at that! You need to trust me more. That is moral of the story right here. You need to trust Saxon more, all right? Now, we're gonna hope that he goes Goes for a scar me. Is he not gonna? All right, we take the tower back. What did I tell you guys? The comeback was on from the very beginning. All right. Okay, you know what? I did make a mistake with that deck. That was not intentional. You know, the the delivery was not meant to be there. So we're gonna go for the Valkyrie. We're gonna put that in instead of the Evo Skellies. Actually, we're also gonna put the Goblins in because I do like those. And yeah, this will work wonders, but yes, about this girl, I was gonna come back, have this whole massive rant about how annoying she was, because oh boy, was she annoying. She exhibited all the exact same things that I said in the video. Again, I was so tempted as well to pull out my phone, just start filming her like this. I'm like, sorry, I need this for content. But anyway, <laughs> I chose to not do that, and I also chose that I would not come back here and speak about her, right? Because I'm not here to spread negative energy. You know what? Life is good, man. And uh, let's talk about some more exciting things in life. How about that? Now, we are going to go for the Tesla here for the Knight and the Wall Breakers. Kind of perfect, actually. Um, the Tesla will die, which means we... Oh, it actually doesn't. That's good. That's going to help defend the P.E.K.K.A. fan fucking tastic And we can also activate King. Wait, we pull this back up first. Please, Val, get down! Okay, nice. We're fine. We can go for the goblins here for this. And wow, that's a full defend. That was juicy. Okay, that was nice. This is 9k behavior. Let me just make that clear. All right. <laughs> no ordinary 7.8k player could do that. And look at the counter push we have. That is so nice. Anyway, like I said, positive energy, man. If this is not positive energy, I don't know what is, all right? But no, I could have come back and just yapped about how annoying this person was. And what good would that have done you? Probably a lot, because a lot of you probably like drama. But for me, when I watch back these videos, I'm just like, oh my god, man. Oh my god, I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but stop complaining, you know what I mean? And, um, and so here I am, acting out my, my wishes. I am done complaining for the rest of my life. You will never hear me complain once. No, I just thought I'd be the bigger man here. Let this girl be annoying as shit. 
And um, I will not talk about it on my YouTube channel except for for the first five minutes of this video. But yeah, I'm just I <laughs> oh my god, I can't help myself. I can't help myself but talk about this person. But no, I I just thought that I don't want to make a whole video about this because um, there's better things in life. And so let's talk about better things in life, right? Firstly, I want to get a haircut because this right now, this hair. Like, look at this. I'm getting, like, spaghetti on my face, right? Now, my hair is often <laughs> described as a beast that cannot be tamed, especially at these lengths. And um, that is also what they called me in school, by the way. Saxon, the beast that cannot be tamed. True story. <laughs> We're gonna go for the goblin curse there on the firecracker. See if we can get one stab. Nope, but that was kind of close. And poison should take the tower. Sorry, ice spirit should take the tower. What? What happened to my ice spirit? Okay, anyway, that's a W. First game of the video, first win. We're on the path to 8K, baby. And then from there, it's easy sma- <laughs> Easy smailing. It's smooth sailing until 9K. Austin is gonna get shit on. Let me just make that clear. He doesn't even know I'm making this video. This is just a personal vendetta. Look at this guy. He's literally in a clan called Hate This Game. Such negative energy. Ugh. Get out of here, man. Yeah, if I can get this hair trimmed up, that would be excellent because when it's at longer lengths, it kind of weighs itself down and then does this whole spaghetti thing. And I'm not a fan of it. Again, beats that cannot be tamed. Funny joke. Ho, ho, ho. Um, in fact, there we go. That seems more appropriate for a Clash Royale video. We're gonna go for the Ice Spirit here. Uh, that's gonna freeze that. And we can go for the Goblins for the uh, Mini Pekka. He has just spent a lot of Elixir and the Zap. Okay, I should be able to just pop the Queen ability here. Even if the Mini Pekka gets a hit, as long as he doesn't get two, I should be fine. Queen's ruining him on the other side. This is why you should know your interactions as well as I do, all right? Let me be a good role model for you guys. Now, I'm pretty sure my level 15 tower will take care of his level 14 uh, furnace. Pays to be overleveled, man. Fantastic, fantastic news. We can also go for the poison here on his level 15 furnace, which renders that completely useless. Actually, no, it doesn't because now that he has two, huh? Oh yeah, we're fine. Oh my god. Boy has one play in his mind, and it's just <laughs> E-Giant to bridge. What makes you think it's gonna work this time, little bro? But yeah, more positive things to talk about is the fact that I am, uh, I have begun a new training routine in the gym, right? So, I was thinking about this the other day, and I am kind of addicted to, um, progress. As in, like, I don't mean that in a way that, like, oh yeah, I just make so much progress in life. But as in, like, for me, when my life feels like it's, l I'm not progressing in something or in multiple things at once, then I just feel like I'm not doing enough, especially when something gets comfortable, right? So for the past, like, what, seven, eight months, it's been YouTube. I feel like I've been really putting my all into this and I'm gonna con continue to do that. But at a certain point, it doesn't become easy, but you get used to it, right? And so making a video a day is hard, but making a video a day after you've done it, every day for like eight months now, I mean every day for eight months now, it becomes much easier, like you get used to it. And so I don't feel like I'm progressing by making another video. I also, I do feel like I'm making better videos, which in a way is progress. But I need to progress in multiple things at once. And so I feel like because I've been kind of chilling with the gym a little bit, I've been I've been training hard, but just not the absolute hardest and keeping everything as dialed in as it could be, including like my diet and everything. I just want to give myself another shot at that. I just want to make sure I've got a good diet going. Good, um, wait, I just want to see if I can take both towers. Because if we can, that would be pretty freaking awesome, man. Let's just uh, go for the curse here. Please, Ice Spirit, at least get on the tower. That's so many crowns. I love it. Positive energy. I have not cried in too long. By the way, aren't they removing the um, the Goblin Queen's journey? Why do they still give the baby Goblin Tower then? What's the point? Is that going to be an actual tower in the game? Because if so, there's no way in hell I'm using that. So I'm doing a new workout routine. I'm also like tracking my food better and uh, upping the calories so I can actually give myself enough energy to grow. And um, yeah, I'm just taking on a new journey. Just trying to see some progress, man. We're going to go for the poison here plus the curse. Why did it take me so long? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We did get the goblins down in time. The witch is going to die. Those skeletons are going to die. I get more goblins. Bro, I just love this card and people just don't know what to do. And it's so fucking nice. I just kind of like did a self-censorship there. Wait. Okay, we can go for the low Tesla. Because we... Wait, I'm going to go for this here. I know the firecracker's going to shoot that. Fuck. 
Okay, 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 okay. That was not great. I'm not gonna lie. That was not great. But at least the Firecracker stays focused on the Valkyrie, which means my goblins are gonna put in work. And yeah, we have an activated King Tower. We've done way more damage to him than he has to us. We're looking good. We're on an upward trajectory, which is all that matters in life. You know, you, you might not know the meaning of life. You may not know where you're headed, but as long as you know you're heading in the right direction or towards the right direction, that's all that really matters. That's all you can really focus on. Um, now I was actually gonna, I might talk about this in another video, but I had this thought that came to me, that hit me yesterday when I was watching something. And I think it's pretty sick, man. I think it's, I think it was a nice thought. I think it's important to think these thoughts. And I was going to share it with you guys until I realized that, hey, this is not a channel where we give out good value information. No, this is a channel. What? How did my queen die so fast? I guess the firecracker really fucked me over, huh? Um, we'll go for the miner here on that. We have the Evo Ice Spirit, which you guys all know how much I love that card. We can go for the Tesla as well. Because of the Evo Ice Spirit, it does spare me to be able to use the Tesla. Because then if he goes for a hog, I can just go for this. And then I can go for the Evo Valk. And it's going to pull both of those up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Wait, he's in the damage lead. What? I guess his Dark Goblin got like a thousand damage on my tower, which is fun. We don't give out good information on this channel. No, that's gross, right? We yap about random stuff that <laughs> doesn't matter. We're going to go for the miner here, plus the curse. We want to get some of these goblins flowing um, to help defend this Mega Knight. Mega Knight's just been melted, by the way, from the goblin curse, the queen, the Tesla, and the little goblin spawning around it. This deck is nice. Alright, I'm liking it. I think it does struggle a little bit against log bait because I don't have the log. So, uh, they're technically not baiting anything out. We want to protect this Tesla this time. We go for the Valk in the back. Nice. Okay, Hog's gonna run to the Tesla. It's getting damaged by the, uh, I don't need, I don't need to go for anything there. Please, Firecracker, don't splash my tower. Kill the Firecracker, please. Nice. Kill the Dark Goblin. What? That's gonna get two hits. Oh, that's so dumb. That is so stupid. Okay, we go for the Evo Valk. This is fine. That's gonna pull the hog up. That is nice. All right. I do like a cheeky bit of Evo Valking. Not gonna lie. The Evo Valk plus the Evo Ice Spirit, by the way, are just two insane defensive cards. That... Oh my god, the Ice Spirit. The Ice Spirit just carried so hard. That's another win against Unnamed. All right, how far are we? Also, do we get any cool prizes for getting up there? No, literally nothing. I guess I get better chest. Chests. Look at these rewards, man. Look at these. Like, why would I ever want to push up to 9k when this is the stuff I'm getting? You will never hear me complain once. Come on now, Supercell. Hey, let's open some lucky drops. Oh, yeah, well, I've seen some of Austin's, like, free-to-play videos. His luck on his lucky drops have been insane. And mine have been shocking since these came out. I mean, I would say the first three days, I got really lucky. And then after that, it was just like... Gone. Zilch. Nothing. Let's hop into another one. Let's do a little bit more trolling. You know, I will talk about something that did provide me some value. I was listening to someone talk about how they coped with turning 40. Now, I feel like I'm still very young. I'm 19. Got my whole life in front of me, right? She shit. Should I save this for my other video? No, I'm not going to save it. This point, I'll just talk about it now. But um, I got my whole life in front of me. But sometimes you can feel like, damn, what am I doing with my life, man? Like, I feel like I'm going nowhere. Even though I am, you know what I mean? Like, you just get negative thoughts occasionally. And firstly, I'm here to say that's fine, you know? Don't stress, don't fret, just because uh, everyone gets these thoughts, man. Or at least I think so. I hope I'm not weird. But my point is that um, we're going to defend this. Yes, that is my point. We'll go for the goblins here around the Dark Prince. Why does it kill everything? We can go for the Valk here. You know, I'm going to go for the curse as well because uh, I don't trust that that's not going to get on my tower. And yeah, that was cool. That worked. A little bit scuffed, but... We're alive, and we have a bunch more damage on his tower than he does on mine. So actually, we're doing great. Sometimes you feel like other- Especially when you compare yourself to other people, which I know people say comparison is the thief of joy. Don't do that, but, you know, you can't just say don't do it. <laughs> it's gonna happen. You're gonna do it. Especially if you live on the earth where there's social media, right? We're gonna go for the Ice Spirit here plus the Goblins. I doubt he's gonna get a lockdown in time, so it should be fine. Saves us having to spend the Tesla so we can save the DPS for the P.E.K.K.A. Um, I'm also assuming he's gonna drop a P.E.K.K.A. on top of my Queen. Oh, he doesn't. Wow. Okay, Queen's gonna just take his tower then if he doesn't play anything. He plays the E-Wiz. You know what? I'm just gonna ignore that. I think that's fine. And so yeah, when you compare yourself to other people, then sometimes you feel like, damn, they started way earlier than I did. Like, I didn't do that. Um, they are way better at whatever it is that they're doing than I am at whatever I'm doing at such a younger age and like, you know what I mean? Like, the, the shit like that happens and it's fine, but I'm also here to say that a good thought experiment for kind of like, not fixing that, but, but trying to understand it better and trying to put it in perspective is that 
imagine... Alright, here's, here's the thought, here's the actual thought experiment. I'll stop yapping. Imagine you were 90 years old, and a 90-year-old you could transport yourself back into this life right now, even if it was only for like a couple minutes, right? 90-year-old you would trans would come back in this body and be like, wow, I had my whole life in front of me, so many, like, endless opportunities in front of me. I'm literally not defined by anything. And there's so many more experiences to be had, if that makes sense. Now, this kind of applies better to the older people that were talking about this. Someone was talking about turning 40. Sometimes that's like a midlife crisis kind of kind of age where you feel like, fuck, I'm like almost halfway through my life. If you take the average lifespan, I think that's like 82 or something like that. I don't know. Um, I'm like almost halfway through my life. And that's scary. But if you look at it, from the perspective of being your 90 year old self, then you're like, shit, man, I have so much more life to experience, so, ma so many more memories to be made, so many more things I can do, so many more options I have, like, especially, and, and so now I'm saying that as a 19 year old, bro, my whole life's in front of me, man. There's so many things I could choose to do right now. And that's great, because sometimes you feel like, you know, you're in uni, you feel like you've already forced yourself down a certain path. You're not, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not, anyway. That was a lot of rambling. I hope you guys got something from that. Just when I heard that, it kind of like made me feel at peace last night. And that's great, man. That's great. You can always start something. You can always do something. People say the best time to do something was the best time to plant a tree was yesterday. Yesterday, what was it? Yesterday, the best time to plant a tree was yesterday or some shit. The <laughs> I don't fucking know. The best time to plant a tree was yesterday. Uh, the sec- What? The best time to plant a tree was yesterday. The second best time to plant a tree is today. That's the saying. I think so, at least. Wow, I really scuffed that. Now, some of you are going to be like, Saxon, you did that on purpose. Come on, bro. We know you're not that stupid. Sure. Yeah, sure. That was on purpose. This guy goes to university, by the way. Just making that clear. Now, what am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? All right. We need the Evo Eye Spirit to save our ass here. I actually think we're fine somehow. <laughs> what was I doing? What was that defense? Here's the plan. We go minor poison on top of this firecracker. Get rid of that. Maybe he goes for something like minions. I can go for the curse and then win game. Uh, minions now. We'll pop the queen ability. Keep that alive. I also want to kill the cage to kind of put him in an awkward cycle there. Nice. We can go for the curse here plus the ice spirit. I know he's going to go for arrows or some shit. <laughs> if he just chooses to ignore that, then that's also great. We'll go for a Tesla off center here. Yeah, I should be completely fine. And yeah, Valk's gonna take the tower. Lil Lolly has been absolutely penetrated. And hey, man, look at me. You're gonna be okay. Stop stressing. Stop stressing out. This is actually for just for myself when I go back to edit this video. When my mental state's already turned again. And I can watch this back and I'm like, hey... Thank you, Saxon. I'll be fine. We're against Fano. He's at 8,000 trophies. He's already in the Clash Fest. And I'm a jealous boy. And I want to be there too. And so, um, yeah. Stop with the FOMO, man. Let me in. Now, he's playing Spear Goblins. Oh, yes! Oh, yes. Turn his goblins into more goblins. My goblins are doing stuff that he isn't even aware of. He has Mega Knight, but his tower's gone. And so it doesn't really matter, does it? What do I do here? I think I play the Valk, like, there. So it can kill the... The, uh, mini... What? Nope, I just missed. Fuck. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Did I miss? I don't know. Did the Valk hit the, um... The goblins? I don't know. I don't know, man. We're gonna push in with the miner here, plus the, uh, goblins. Hopefully they can take care... Okay, I have to go for the curse, I think. Yep. What? The bush has HP? I thought it was always just, like, one shot, no matter what. I didn't know it was actually, like, hit points. That's crazy. Do people know that? Surely I'm not the only one. Everyone in the comments gonna say that they knew that, even though they didn't. All right, I know you guys. I know how this functions. I know how the internet works, all right? I might be old, but I'm not that old. I was alive when, uh, actually I was born when YouTube came out. Does that mean I was meant to be a YouTuber? Who knows? I'm gonna say yes, because <laughs> why not? We'll go for the queen here. We're gonna surround this with the goblins. Holy fucking shit. He has three spirits. At least my evil Valk will take care of this. Completely fine. But that was a little bit stressful. He's going to cycle back to another Mega Knight. Actually, he's probably already back to one, no? Yeah, he is back to another one. We're going to pop the Queen ability here because I'm expecting the Mega Knight to come down. There you go. Get absolutely predicted, boy. Now, I'm thinking we go for the Evo Ice Spirit here. We go for the Curse on his shiz, on his shenanigans. 
Mega Knight's gonna do fuck all. Ice Spirit's gonna freeze that again. I keep telling you guys, Evo Ice Spirit's insane. The Goblin Curse put in work on his tower. This is good game, Lil Broski. I mean, you might as well just give up now. You have no career in this, all right? You have no hope. Everything I said to you about the, um, the whole 90-year-old thought experiment, yeah, that doesn't apply to you, Fano. Your life is over. There's no point in even trying. You're pathetic. And there we have it. We're in Clash Fest. We're in Clash Fest. And I'm on the path to proving people wrong. And what is there better to do in life than to just prove everyone wrong? Now, we are at 8008, which actually, if you type that into a calculator, spells boop. Fun fact for you guys. Anyway, the whole point, I just realized that I didn't really get to the point of the whole rambling thing. It's just that you should be grateful for the current condition you are in now. Assuming you're healthy, you're good, um, and you're normal, <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, then yeah, 90 year old you, if they could come back into this body right now, they'd be like, holy fuck, my arms don't hurt. Or even if they do hurt, they hurt way less than they do when I'm fucking 90, all right? Yeah, I thought, let's just keep opening lucky drops until we run out or we get a four star. Oh my God, what the fuck? What is that? What are the chances? Okay, well, <laughs> that's it, I guess. I'll save the other ones for the next video. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. That's what, that's how we're gonna end this. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the rambling. Hopefully, it wasn't too long. And yeah, click there if you want to see another video. Like, comment for the algorithm, subscribe. Actually, in the comment section, if you could leave a piece of advice or a thought experiment or something that helped you feel good, let me know, man. Actually, just let me know what makes you feel good. I I'd like to know. I swear to God, if I see someone say, yo, Unk, just put the fucking fries in the bag, shut the fuck up stop speaking. I'm gonna be pissed.